If you're itching to pull out your tree and start decorating, we are ready to help. A perfect professional looking tree is possible to achieve and my next guest says it is all about the numbers. From how many ornaments to include to the length of garland to use, we are breaking things down to the basics. Designer Sarah Grover is here to help us decorate the tree like a pro and you, we have this gorgeous example behind us and you say really it's about the numbers. It's, it's like a science. It is a science. It is a science. So we're going to break it down and I don't know about you but I have been at a store, you know, maybe earlier in October, November, and I see an ornament or a pick or a garland that I love, and I'm like, but I don't know how many to get. And I know if I don't buy what I need now, I'm gonna come back in a few weeks and then they're all gonna be gone. So knowing how to style your tree ahead of time in the numbers will really help you so that you're able to grab the accessories that you love and not run out and have it look nice and full and, and pretty, so. Yeah, because nothing worse than you buy the ornaments you like and then you go back to get more because yes. you didn't do it right and they're gone. They're, because they always are. Yes, they always are. <laughs> so let's okay. break it down. So we have a lot to do. Let's start with the tree. Okay. You have four main elements to consider and a formula for each, starting with the number yes. of different types of ornaments. Yes, okay, so as we go through math class right now, it's gonna be really easy. I know we don't love math, but we're gonna make it really easy. You need to know the height of your tree in feet. So different types of ornaments is the same number as your tree height. So if you have a seven foot tree, it's seven different types of ornaments. Okay, so that's keep a lot easy. of different types. It is, okay. it is, yeah. You're like, yeah, that's what we're that's doing. What we're you being want. professional, okay. Yep, yep. And then the next question usually is, okay, well how many of each type? So you take the height of your tree and you're gonna plus two and minus two. And that gives you your range of how many ornaments you should select of each type. So if you have a seven foot tree, you're gonna have you can go minimum of five, maximum of nine, maybe depending on the size, if they're a little smaller, a little bigger. Sometimes the price point, you're like, oh, that's a little pricey yeah. for me, but I love the ornament. Get five instead of nine. So that's your range of different types. And then the next thing would be picks, right? Mm -hmm. So we love the Christmas picks, but also like, how many do I get? So take your height in, of your tree, so seven, let's use that as an example, seven foot tree, times it by three, and that'll be how many picks you will wanna select for your tree to place them throughout and have it be nice and full. Because the last thing you want is a sparse tree and you also don't want a too full of tree. So these formulas are really catered to those of us who want uh, you know, a well trimmed tree that isn't too overwhelming and also you don't want it underwhelming either. So, um, and then the last thing would be your garlands. So your novelty garlands, maybe you love bead guarded garlands or those really fun bell garlands we're seeing a lot of. So you're gonna take the height of your tree and times it by nine. So again, your seven foot tree is an example, times it by nine, and that's how many feet of garland. Now it may seem like, it seems a, like a lot. It seems like a lot, yeah. but then remember you're wrapping all the way around and when you buy those novelty garlands, they're usually four to six feet in length. So you take that large number and divide it by the length of garland you're going for at the store or maybe you have some in your home. You could use this for ribbon garland too in your math. So that's how you would quickly determine how much garland you would need. So okay. if you're at the store and you're like, what do I get? How much? Here are some, that's, that's your quick formula. Okay, if you didn't have time to write that down, it's okay, we're gonna have this info on yes. our page. But I love that you did this for us because you broke it down. So, okay, we're going to talk about different sizes of trees. Yes, because there's typically about three different sizes, okay. depending on the height of your ceiling. And the seven is the one you keep referring to, but yep. I love that you broke down exactly how much we need of each thing yes. for the size of We did of the math tree. for you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, it's been a while. So for the seven foot tree, you tell us exactly so how many. So seven different type of ornaments, 50, five to nine of each type of ornament, 21 decorative picks and 63 feet of garland. So that's your basics for that seven foot tree, seven to seven and a half. Is that the size most people have? Yeah, I okay. would say like the one we have in studios is, is seven foot. Mm -hmm. Like personally, I have a 12 because I have vaulted ceilings. Mm -hmm. So the one in between that, if you have taller ceilings, but maybe not vaulted, is your nine foot tree. So nine different types of ornaments, seven to 11 of each type of ornament, 21 decorative, or excuse me, it's actually 24 decorative yep. picks, and then 91 feet 
of garland. Okay, Anyone. and then even Anyone. more <laughs> for that 12, and I have an yes. even taller one, so I mean, so crazy to numbers. This would still apply to 12, 12 to 14. To 14. Okay. How tall is yours? I think it's 15. Okay. It's really tall, so okay. you're gonna need a lot of stuff, but yes. once we have those numbers, thank you for doing the math, yeah. and we get that stuff, you actually have some pro tips for us, too. Yes, okay, so when you're selecting ornaments, we usually tend to reach for round ornaments, and that's what we see a lot at, at the yeah. store, and just classics that carry us year to year. Try to select two to three different sizes of those round ornaments. They'll give some, it'll give a good appeal to your tree. You can also place them farther in the tree, some farther out. And then I get this question a lot, or maybe this complaint a lot. I don't, I don't have a theme for my tree. Like how should I select a theme? I, I, I don't know where to start on this. And they keep saying theme. And it's really not about a theme. It's about your color palette. Okay. So rule of thumb is pick four colors. And that includes your metals. So if you do silver, gold, that counts as two. And then maybe you do red and green. If you stick to four colors, it will look aesthetically pleasing. It won't look so hodgepodgey. And it helps you kind of, okay, I can do this. I have my theme and my colors and I can go out and, and shop my basement for what I used previously and go out and find maybe some new ones that are in those four colors. And you say don't use both garland and picks. Pick one. It's a little too full in my opinion. Maybe you like that look but I think we're leaning towards a little lighter look lately. So if we're going to use that garland and wrap it around maybe don't do the picks or vice versa. Okay I love it. Okay now we are moving on to mantles because I think this is something people sometimes have a hard time doing. Yes. We're seeing a lot of garland covered mantles this year. So how yes. do we figure out how much to get for a mantle? Okay, so we're gonna concentrate on two different looks. Okay. We have kind of our traditional look and maybe an asymmetrical look. Those are the two most common. So let's talk traditional. So you're gonna take the length of your mantle in feet and plus an additional two feet. That's how long you want your green base garland to be. So if you're out looking for those garlands, that's, that's your length you need. And we're going to make people come to the website to find all these other math things that you figured out for us. Yes. Because you have the exact number of picks, the exact number of ornaments. Yep. And how is it different for asymmetrical? So asymmetrical, you're gonna want a little more length on your base green garland. So you're gonna take um, your length of your mantle and add an additional four feet. That way you can droop it to the side and you have that length. And then you're going to be placing your picks closer together and layering, so you will need more. So you're gonna take the length of your mantle and divide it by three inches versus like the eight inch on your traditional. So you'll just need more. And we're gonna add the ribbon and the bells on the one side. So ribbon one and a half yards is gonna get you a nice either droopy bow or maybe just you don't wanna, you don't wanna bow it, you just wanna have that length with your bells. One and a half yards is great. Okay. I'm loving ribbon. And she has these pro tips for us. I'm gonna share with you real quick. Fluff everything before it goes on the mantle. She said layer those picks together and attach them before you put them on the mantle. And then use command strips with a high weight limit and bottle brush wire to attach those things. And you are actually consulting this Christmas. Yes. Helping people find their own style yep. and help them elevate it. Where can we find you? So if you go to my Instagram, Sarah, um, Grover home, you will, you will be able to find all the information. So maybe you want us to come with you and, and help you and teach you in your home, or you just want it done. You don't want to worry about all this math and you want it done. We can take care of you. And if you book a mantle and a tree design package by Thanksgiving, you'll get $200 off if you mention KSL. Okay. Oh, thank you so yes. much. Special for our viewers. Thanks for being here yep. and making our studio feel magical. Yes. Yes. All thank right. you.